Welcome to Sridhi Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we are going to learn a easy way to find a square root of a number. A square root of any number is a number when multiplied by itself gives a given number. In the regular method, the, div the divisor goes on larger at each step. This increases the calculation time and becomes difficult to find the square root. Let's learn Vilokanam method. It's a Vedic method of finding the square of a number, square root of a number quickly. Rule 1. The unit digit of the perfect square number is 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9. Rule 2. A perfect square number do not end with 2, 3, 7 or 8. Rule 3. Digital root of the given number should be either one of the digits. 1, 4, 7 or 9. Rule 4. Perfect square numbers do not end with odd numbers of zeros. Rule 5. Arrange given number in two digit groups from right to left. Consider a single digit left over as a group by itself. You need to memorize from 1 square to 10 square. Let's learn from 1 square to 10 square. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36, 7 square is 49, 8 square is 64, 9 square is 81, 10 square is 100. When the given number ends with 1, for example, 1 square ends with 1 and 9 square ends with 1, 81 ends with 1. The answer will end with 1 or 9. If the given number ends with 4, for example, 2 square ends with 4 and 8 square ends with 4, so 64 ends with 4, the answer will end with 2 or 8. If the given number ends with 5, for example, 5 square is 25, and 25 ends with 5, the answer will also end in 5. If the given number ends with 6, for example, 4 square is 16, and 16 ends with 6, and 6 square is 36, and also ends with 6, the answer will end in 4 or 6. If the given number ends with 9, that, for example, 3 square is 9, and 7 square is 49, and 49 ends with 9, so the answer will end in 3 or 7. Let's try an example. 576 square root. Rule 1. Unit digit of the perfect square number is 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9. The unit digit of 576 is 6. So there is 6 over here. So it is a perfect square. So rule 1 is satisfied. Rule 3. Find the digital root of the given number. It should be either one of the digits 1, 4, 7 or 9. So 5 plus 7 is 12 and 12 plus 6 is 18 and 1 plus 8 is 9. So the digital root of 576 is 9. So, the, so it is a perfect square. So rule 3 is also satisfied. Rule 5. Arrange the given number in two digit groups from right to left. Consider a single digit left over as a group by itself. So, 76 is one group 
and phi is another group. So two groups in all. So rule phi is also satisfied. Since there are two groups, there will be a two digit answer. The last digit 6. Find 6 on the table. 6 is over here. So the answer, the unit digit will be 4 or 6. Write 4 and 6 like this. Next, box, box these two last numbers, 7 and 6. Find phi where it is in between the square table. Phi is in between 2 square to 3 square. So we take 2 square. So the first digit will be 2. To find whether the answer is 24 or 26, we, we find what is one more than the first digit 2. So 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 is greater than 5. So we take the lower number which is 24. So, the square root of 576 is 24. Let's try another example. 1521 square root. For the first rule, the last digit is 1. For our third rule, we have to find the digital root of the given number. The digital root should be 1, 4, 7 or 9. So, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8 and 8 plus 1 is 9. So, rule 3 is completed. For rule 5, it says to arrange the given number in two digits from, the, from right to left. So, 21 is one group and 15 is one group. Since there are two groups, the answer will be a two-digit number. The last digit is 1. So, we find 1 on the table. 1 is over here. So, the answer, the unit digit will be 1 or 9. So, write 1 and 9 like this. Next, box, box the last two numbers, 2 and 1. Next, find where 15 is in the square table. 15 is in between 3 square to 4 square. We take 3 square. So, we write 3 over here. To find whether the answer is 31 or 39, we find what is 1 more than 3. 1 more than 3 is 4. So, so 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Since 12 is less than 15, we take the higher number 39. So, 39 is our answer. Let's try one more example. 7921 square root. Rule 1. Find the last number. 1. Rule 1 is satisfied. Rule 3. Find the digital root of that number. The digital root is supposed to be 1, 4, 7 or 9. So, the digital root of 7921 is 1. Rule 3 is also satisfied. Rule 5. Group the numbers. So, 2 and 1 are a group and 7 and 9 
or a group. So there are two groups in all. So the answer will be two digits. Next, the last number is one. Next, find one on the table. One is over here. So the answer will end with one on nine. So write one and nine like this. Next, box the last two numbers, 2 and 1. Next, find verse 79 is in between in the table. 79 is in between 8 square to 9 square. So, we take 8 square. So, we write 8 in front of 1 and 9. Next, to find whether the answer is 81 or 89, we find what is 1 more than 8. 1 more than 8 is 9. So, we multiply 8 times 9. 8 times 9 is 72. 72 is less than 79. So, we take the greater answer which is 89. So, the answer is 89. Let's use the digital root method to check if our answer is right. It's nothing but 89 into 89 is 7921. First, find the digital root of 7921. The digital root of 7921 is 1. Next, find the digital root of 89. The digital root of 89 is 8. And find the digital root of another 89, which is also 8. So, 8 into 8 is 64. And the digital root of 64 is 1. So the digital root of 7921 is also 1. And the digital root of 89 into 89 is also 1. So our answer is correct. Thanks for watching.